Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pattern and sew a felt bear. So let's get started. I'm going to make a pattern just using this small notepad and taking a sheet of paper out of it because I bought this big pack of felt at the dollar store and I want to be able to use these small size sheets. So I'm going to start with my piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to make the head. So I'm just going to use a glass and I'll place that on there and trace around it. And then I will add an ear. And you could just trace around a penny or something if you're not good at drawing. And then I'm just going to do the body on here. So about halfway from here to here, you can fold it to get a mark. I'm going to make the legs and I'm going to make some like this. And I'm going to come up to here. And then I'll just make a line like this for the arms. And I can fold this in half and cut it out and they'll be exactly the same on both sides. Like that. Now I want to mark the facial features. So I'm going to fold this down in half like that. And I want the eyes to be below this line. So I'll put them here. So I'm going to do the little nose like that. Okay, so fold it in half. And with a black marker, I'm going to mark the eyes and the nose and a little eyebrow. Now when you turn it over, you should be able to see it. And if you can't, you can place it over the glass in front of a light source. And then you can copy where that eye is and the eyebrow. Like that. And I'll just place a picture on the screen just in case you might be able to trace it. And I pinned my pattern to my felt and I'm going to cut it out. Like that. To transfer the facial features, use a pencil and poke right through the paper. And then you'll have the marks right on there and you can just make them a little bit darker if you like. I've threaded some embroidery floss into a needle, tie a knot in the end, take the top section and if you want to carry your yarn on the back from one section to the other I usually just place another small piece of felt of the same color behind so that the yarn doesn't show through and I'm going to start at one eyebrow and then go right down to the eye and I'll just take one little stitch the eye and then go back in and then I'll come over to the nose and then over to the other eye And then the eyebrow. Like that. Now I can come back on the back and just take a couple of stitches there. Now I'm going to pin the two layers together and I'm going to start sewing here. I'm going to sew all the way around. When I get here I'm going to stop and stuff the head. For the stitching you could either use just a running stitch like this on the outside just like that just a running stitch or you could just use a little overhand stitch like this or a blanket stitch which means you come up through the loop so you go through but bring your thread up through the loop okay so any one of those stitches so tie a knot in the end of your thread and then come up in between the two layers then you can tuck that end inside and I'm going to go all around the outside until I get down to the other side of the head okay so I'm all the way around and now I'm going to stuff it use the eraser end of a pencil to get the stuffing up into the small areas pin it 
Now sew all the way around until you get here and then we'll stop and stuff it again. Okay, I worked all the way around. Now I'm going to stuff it. And then finish sewing. Like that. And in another video, I'll show you how to make these little bows so you can make a little bow for putting at the neck. And you can make another tiny one and attach it at the ear. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Please click like and please share with a friend. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.